So the PROMISE study is a study that is uh, that I'm conducting in partnership with my colleague, uh, Dr. Paller at Johns Hopkins and other collaborators throughout the United States. And it's a study to help men with prostate cancer understand their genetics. We know um, that there are many people who have prostate cancer who have genetic risk of prostate cancer. Maybe they inherited a risk factor, but they don't know about it. And this is important to know because now we have targeted or precision treatment options. So additional toolboxes, treatments, exciting treatments for those patients, but they may not be aware of it if they don't know about their genetics. And so one is in sort of increasing the knowledge. And then also um, it may have important implications for the relatives. So sometimes those genetic factors are shared and that information can also be life-saving. So the study is really easy, actually. Patients um, who are interested or people that are interested who've had a diagnosis of prostate cancer go to the website, which is www.promiseforprostatecancer.org. Uh, and then they can read about the study and they can enroll um, on the web uh, or by the internet. And then they are mailed a saliva test or kit and then they spit into the kiss and then mail it back. And then they get a metal gr medical grade um, genetic testing report back um, that tests 30 genes that are associated with uh, cancer risks. So some of those are prostate cancer, um, but then men who have certain mutations that we're particularly interested in will be invited for long-term, more sort of in, uh, more long-term follow-up and all patients who participate can get a newsletter where we sort of inform them about the newest, latest, greatest things in prostate cancer. And so I think it's really exciting because um, it's increasing the ability and access of patients to genetic testing, but then also leveraging kind of our web-based information platforms, just like this one, is to advance education and, and make sure we're getting all of that excitement and opportunities out to patients, even if they're not, you know, um, if, if they live far away from, from some of the biggest cancer centers. We want to make sure all patients um, have access to that knowledge.